Failure is going to be part of your journey when you're learning to code. Now imagine Luke Skywalker, if you talked to him the first time he faced Darth Vader in Empire Strikes Back. Imagine he thought he was going to win. What happened? He lost his arm, his lightsaber, and is clinging to a pole in tears. Now, maybe you're not going to lose an arm or anything as dramatic as that, but you will fail, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, I've taught a lot of people how to code, and the first thing that surprises them the most is when they type in code for the first time, it doesn't work. They either the compiler can't compile it, or they're missing a semicolon or a brace or somewhere like that, and it causes a lot of frustration when we're learning how to code. Now, I call this the first part of failure, meaning that when you're learning, guess what? Your code doesn't always work, but that's part of the process. Even the most senior people in our business have problems when they're trying to code. The compiler doesn't work or something happens. Your job isn't that you're going to fail. It's how do you respond? You need to learn to accept this as a process of coding instead of it looking at it as a personal failure on your part that you don't have something memorized or you're not good enough to do this because you introduced a bug. Failure on a daily basis when we're coding is part of the process. It's how you respond that matters. Can you research it and can you fix it and can you solve problems? Failure is also part of the process when we're trying to get our very first software job. Now, a lot of people think when I graduate my boot camp or my university that I'm going to interview you for one job and get that job. And that's so far from the truth. You're going to fail at the tech interview. You're going to fail at the coding challenge. You're going to fail at the in-person interview. And that first time you interview, you're more than likely going to fail and you're not going to get that first software job. It is a process. Very few people can interview once and get a job. Most of us have to go through several iterations of this process in order to effectively interview so that we can get a software job. And what does that mean to you? That means take notes during the interview process and any coding challenges you get as well and study those, go back over them and see where you failed, where it came apart and put those things in your memory because you will get a finite set of questions that can be asked and if you start seeing the pattern in these and getting better and better at the interview process, eventually you'll get that first software job. Now, once we get that first software job, I want you to realize that failure is going to be part of the job too. The sheer act of coding involves failure. A lot of times when we're writing code, it doesn't compile or we have a syntax error or something like that. And it's things that we can't find, or maybe our logic just isn't correct. And it just seemingly doesn't work the first time out. I think where this comes from is in movies and popular culture, you'll see someone just type up some kind of cool hacking program and hack into something without it, without any errors whatsoever. And you have this notion that everyone else codes this way. But the reality is we all go through this process from juniors, mids to seniors in that writing software is an iterative process of bugs and things that don't work until we can get it to a state and where it functions correctly. To sum this up, failure is part of the process of being a software developer. And especially when you're learning to code, you see the things don't work right away. And a lot of people quit at this stage. They don't like the fact that they can't get it working the first time, but that's not you. You're going to persevere through these things and realize that this is a process of fixing things, debugging things and getting it to work. We definitely have to be used to rejection because we only need one yes. And if that takes 99 no's to get to that one yes, that's okay. We still got a software job. And then when we get on the job itself, just realize that, hey, you may break production. You may introduce a bug. You may not know how to do every single thing that they ask you to do. And that's why you're gonna work with the team that you're with, ask questions, and be committed to your craft to get better every day. Get used to failing because it's really not failure. It's just part of the process and being a professional developer. One of the biggest challenges you're gonna face is probably the interview process. Now, if you're struggling with that, I'm gonna talk about that right now. And if you're having problems, you're probably doing it wrong. So go over here and I'll see you in a minute.